have been watching your favorite YouTubers since 2012, 2017, or 2019. Chances are they are hypocrites. Well, what do I mean by that essentially? Well, during a whole crazy week, um, this happened. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! Yeah, it happened around February 10th, and Keenstar and a bunch of commentary YouTubers decided to call out Vosh for this. Things you need to look for. Tipster, all right? Not the first time he's defended Lolly. Almost a year ago to the day, one of his moderators posted on Twitter a picture of Lolly. Now, before that moderator could even respond, Tipster started defending her, defending her left and right. Then the moderator realized, oh my God, I posted Lolly, I'm in the wrong, and apologized and deleted the tweet. You know what Tipster did? Doubled down, tripled down, and still defended her. <laughs> but that's not it. Also, Chris from Mr. Beast, right? Uh, he got exposed for posting Lolly, right? Back in the day. The artist that made the Lolly that Chris posted from Mr. Beast is the same artist that drew my daughter in a sexual way and got canceled. Sham Man or whatever the fuck his name is, all right? So it's personal. This is personal. I hate this shit. It's fucking disgusting, all right? Guess what Tipster did? Tipster defended Chris from Mr. Beast and that post and that fucking post. So he has a long history of doing this. Here's the best part. Flamenco is a content creator who got exposed for having lolly or posting lolly or something like that, right? And last night on Tipster stream, somebody donated to Tipster saying, you and Flamenco should go bowling together. Tipster said last night on stream, no, Flamenco is a pedo. Flamenco's a pedo, Tipster. But what about Vosh? But what about fucking Vosh? Okay, first off, I'm sorry if it's personal to you, but who cares? And Vosh is not a pedo. You're only using that word because you're trying to get back at somebody that you hate. You're not trying to hold an actual pedophile accountable. All that Vosh did was accidentally misclick what he shouldn't have clicked on live for all to see. So I want these hypocritical fucking scumbags fucking deleted. I want them deleted. I want them fucking deleted. Vosh has such a long fucking history and you guys are accused of taking them out of context. That show, I seen the clip now, I seen the full thing. You guys were more charitable about context than anyone I've ever seen on the fucking internet. And Ethan is right, it doesn't make sense. His response doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. That's why you shouldn't believe him. Plus, when you combine this happening multiple fucking times and the fact that this is on his fucking hard drive, bro, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. Same thing with Tipster. And then they talk about out of context and you're painting someone a fucking bad way. Keffels has a history of fucking literally just straight up calling me a fucking pedophile. Like, it, so many fucking cases of her doing that. Receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt. So, um, yeah, uh, one, this shit is disgusting. Anyone doing this lolly shit should fucking be deleted. But on top of it, it's fucking personal. Again, bro, who fucking cares if, it, if it's personal? Who fucking cares? Like, you're saying that because you're advocating for censorship. That's what you're doing. And you used to be against censorship. Like every time I see your tweets, or at least I used to see your tweets every time, you're against censorship. You call it out almost constantly. And you defended some people in the past, but now you won't even want to defend Bosch because of one little mistake that he made and just outright call him a pedophile just like that because you're setting a very low bar of standards that is at best bad faith and because of the way you disingenuously made the argument you are going against your words 
the words that you used to stand by on Twitter every time. That would be the game star that I and everyone else used to know. What the ever living fuck has happened to you, Daniel Key? Can you explain why all of a sudden you're now turning tides? Because it seems hypocritical of you to now be against censorship when you're for censorship. Next, I'm going to talk about a commenter YouTuber named Achito, and he's not really the smartest tool in the shed, especially when it comes to his own hypocrisy. Now, Achito is a commentary YouTuber who's been around for almost six years, but has been uploading videos to YouTube since four years ago. That, of course, will be in 2019. Now, this dude over the years has talked about censorship a lot on his channel. I have seen it a lot. I watched all of his videos, he talks about it all the time. Even if it gets really annoying, he talks about it all the goddamn time. But now, he's advocating for censorship. Now, he first said this on his Twitter account that I would like to debunk his ass, saying that Bosch is a sexual predator, and that is extremely not true. Did Bosch say something that's very cringe and uncomfortable? Yes, he did. He did say something to that effect that is cringe and uncomfortable here. But a Cheeto calling Vosh a sexual predator is extremely far-fetched. Now, a Cheeto says Vosh, Hassan, Keppels, Chris Tyson, Tipster, Ryan Beard, and everyone else like them need to be expelled from society. Like I get a Cheeto hates Vaj, Hassan, Keppels, Chris Tyson, and Mr. Beard because they're leftists and all that. But that doesn't mean that a Cheeto should be okay with African censorship, especially if censorship goes against his own morals. Also, a Cheeto is known to be a sensitive Christian in the past because he tried real hard to de-platform waste over something that he said about Christians. And let me tell you, thankfully, it, it didn't work in his favor. And I know that the controversy that the Chijo was in was from a few years ago, like almost two years now, but I just want to point out the hypocrisy. So this is a video he made on Andrew Tate. But Tate's ban just makes things worse. And I'm going to show how much of a hypocrite you are by playing that clip now. So Andrew Tate recently got banned off of Facebook, Instagram, and all of the meta platforms. And I mean, honestly, regardless of how you feel about him as a person or anything he said or done, if you're celebrating this ban, chances are you're mentally handicapped. And I'm going to explain why. Andrew Tate has to be one of these people to shit on in this current stage of the internet, right? Anything... Andrew Tate says, you can finally disagree with it, and if you're a content creator, you can make the easiest 30-minute video of your entire career by basically just calling him a misogynist and whatever else the script says. Like, it really is that easy. And that's the first thing. If you have somebody on the internet that you think is spreading harmful ideas or is promoting hate or doing something like that, and with the case of Andrew Tate, somebody who is all over TikTok and sometimes drastically fails at making intelligent points, 
Why do you feel threatened by him enough to the point where you think instead of just intellectually owning him, like just shitting on his ideas to the fullest extent possible, why instead of that would you just hope that he gets banned or try to get him banned or advocate for him getting banned? And just so you know, when it comes to Facebook and Instagram, when you get banned off those platforms, you can't get back on. Like it's not temporary. It's not like Twitch where they kick you out for a week and then let you back in. No, I'm pretty sure it's permanent. And if you make an alt account, you can get banned like from that too because you're avoiding the ban or some shit. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, I think the reason why so many people are celebrating this ban is because rather than like find a way to intellectually destroy him, which is not hard to do, they'd rather just have him completely silenced and banned to begin with, which is just pathetic. Like, dude, if you think this guy, a lot of people do, then it should be very, very easy to destroy his arguments or the shit that he says, correct? Like, why do you have to ban him if he's as stupid as you think it is? It's just utterly pathetic. Pathetic. Like, people like Hassan, who I think are very, very retarded. I don't care that he has a platform because I know how stupid he is and how easy it is to destroy him in arguments. Like, I'm not going to call for his, you know, uh, deplatforming because I don't like what he's saying. When if I truly wanted to, I can make a 10 minute or like an hour long video just going point by point on everything he says and just dunking on him. It's not that hard. Now, move. Hmm. Okay. But now, when it comes to Vosh, you support somebody deplatformed. Please tell your audience the truth. Like, I'm not seeing some consistency from you. Like, you're literally trying to cancel one of the leftist streamers on this platform. Also, your gender arguments were so bad that you at the time literally threatened to take down that video. Like if you're gonna be inconsistent with the way you view things in the past, then you shouldn't preach for anti-censorship. Moreover, if you think Bosch needs to be banned, then Andrew Tate needs to be banned as well. You can't have it just the one way, a Cheeto. You can't do that. Okay, not to start the video off with some Thanksgiving dinner table politics talk, but YouTube leftists slash bread tubers are generally kind of degenerate freaks and weirdos and should be maybe locked in a cage. Now, everybody on the left is not a degenerate freak. That's some mischaracterization you got going at the start of this video here. Now, I'm specifically talking about prominent YouTuber slash live streamer Bosch. This guy is huge in the online left wing politics streaming slash YouTuber space, and he is a big, huge degenerate. Like, genuinely, this guy might need to be castrated because he can't control himself. And that's not me talking. Well, it is me talking. But the fact that I'm saying this comes from these leaks that have just come out of him getting exposed, okay? His private folders on his desktop got leaked accidentally on a live stream and oh my god this guy needs to like call his lawyer or something he better call Saul because there's no defending what we just saw and if the leaks are confirmed which I mean I don't know why I say if they're confirmed they are confirmed this guy should never be allowed to a own a pet b be able to purchase a zoo ticket c just generally not be around other people or animals and uh yeah that leads us into the nature of the leaks i think you guys are kind of guessing where this is going so vosh like I said, very popular leftist political streamer. He's one of those guys who's like, eat the rich. He's a progressive, a socialist, and a special needs classroom graduate. I don't know how this guy has people that listen to him with open ears, but more than his politics, this guy is genuinely a demented person. He is a perv. He needs to be banned from society. Or it's so disgusting that you're now pro-censorship because someone made a stupid mistake. The next video I'm gonna show right now shows how disingenuous a Cheeto continues to be when it comes to censorship, in which he again advocates for Vosh to be deplatformed. You have a point that I can't really argue against, but bruh, you should take a pause, bruh. Ooh, ooh, bruh, yikes, bruh, don't like that. <sighs> bruh, ooh, bruh. Holy f 
ooh, bad, bad look for a big oof, bro. Beefy, bad. Feelings hurt. Who, who knew that people would say yikes after you literally say, yeah, I'm not convinced child should be illegal. Who knew people would say yikes to that? I don't know. So if anything, owning child is probably a hell of a lot more ethical than wearing the t-shirts on your backs right now. I'm just gonna give it a second so I can, I just need to, I just, I just, I, wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Because child is better than forced labor. What? Are you, like, this guy can't be real. How does he quantify this? What is, what is, what does this mean? You like that argument? Ooh, you like that? You like that moral culpability? You're all worse than picking CP owners, and I am too. Do you like that? No ethical consumption under capitalism. It sucks, right? That's the, no ethical consumption under capitalism. Therefore, I can be a complete degenerate and, like, you know what I mean? It's just, like, just steal shit. Own CP, goon all day and night. That sort of shit, you know? We've all jerked at the lolly at some point. No, we haven't. What the f***, dude? Why does he say like that? I know that's probably a super relatable, like, moment for his goon audience hey guys we've all had a few nights where we're by ourselves and the bottle of lotion and some underage anime girls no the fuck we haven't big big guy all right what the fuck are you talking about not relatable you should be banned you fucking pig this wow real classy of trying to get someone banned from their past mistakes great job Achito. that's very smart of you very, very smart. Meanwhile, this guy too is advocating for Vosh to be deplatformed. Yep, that's right. Sensitive society. Now, Sensitive Society made a YouTube video on Vosh titled Vosh Finally Responded. And in that video, he was saying that Bosch should be arrested and that he should also be banned. Listen and watch. Nick like that is one of the largest political live streamers on the platform. It's TOS. Uh, you gotta delete the VOD. So, uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but mostly because it made me look like a careless idiot, not because I was ashamed of the, like, furry demon monster GF big dick porn stuff I knew I had in there, you know? I had rambled about liking all that stuff on stream before, not a secret, and I thought, you know, maybe, uh, in a way, this fuck-up would come across kind of charming. You know, like, uh, uh, that's my streamer, that fucking idiot right there. My community was already making a big joke of it. Yeah, porn addict loser, guys. That's my guy, right? <laughs> I refuse to believe Vosh fans are... I'm not saying all of them are losers or freaks or anything. I don't know, you gotta stop normalizing porn this much. Being addicted to it has become so fucking normalized when it shouldn't be. There's a lot of things that are being normalized that shouldn't be. Like, yeah, that's my streamer, that's my porn addicted lowly streamer. It's like, whoa, Hold on a second. Like, that's not something to be proud of. It just kind of makes a content creator look like a fucking loser. Yeah, that's my guy. He wants to turn into a horse because he wants a big glissy. It's like, man, you you need help. And if you're not arrested for the lolly, you should definitely be arrested for all the disgusting shit you had on there. Gnomes, midgets, horses. That should be enough to send you to jail for 20 years, Max. Uh, gnomes, midgets, and horses are not mutually exclusive things that you can be arrested for unless you actually abuse a horse which there are laws for this in new york there are laws about animal cruelty which includes a horse and an aggravated cruelty towns is a felony and can face the sentence and an indefinite one at that for a long period of time. And here in Massachusetts, you can also face jail time for a very, very long time for abusing an animal or also pay a fine by about $10,000. But saying that Bosch should go to jail for liking gnomes, midgets, and horses is a bit of a stretch points are brought up to him. So leaving that uh, stupid least charitable argument aside, uh, someone might then ask, okay, I get it. It's possible to make a mistake like that. Why then 
would you save the images? I, I, what about them did you like? And look, there's really no way of saying this without sounding crass or flippant or whatever, but you know, it's, it's already a pretty revealing video. There's actually a very clear and simple explanation for why, uh, you know, for not just those two drawings, but in fact, all the drawings in that folder and all my porn tastes generally. And it's an explanation that is extremely well known and well substantiated. Uh, I, I'm a size queen, I like big dicks. All right, enough to have this guy banned from the internet <laughs> this the fact that you're for censorship now is extremely wild to me and you made a skits ghost tweet saying lock wash up for life brother is nasty also real talk the fbi federal bureau investigation is not going to do shit Let's be fucking honest. They won't investigate Vaj for the alleged crime that he didn't commit. The FBI will just focus on important shit rather than petty shit. And by important shit, I mean focusing on saving lives. From school shootings, to grocery shootings, to mall shootings, concert shootings, bank shootings, marathon bombings, all different types of parade shootings, hospital shootings, etc. That's what the FBI mostly cares about. Because accidentally streaming your porn stash is not going to make the FBI come and arrest you immediately right away. The bottom line is, if you're advocating to ban somebody who just made one tiny mistake that this person immediately corrected the issue and quickly deleted in a nanosecond. I hope that you wake the fuck up and come to the realization that this person did the right thing immediately and therefore shouldn't, shouldn't be banned for deleting the live stream. Because this whole thing about about Vosh shouldn't have been a thing to begin with in the first place had people not shared or screen shared clips of him making one final mistake. This situation wouldn't have happened and it wouldn't be controversial. It's not necessary to use that one clip against someone that you hate over a small minor mistake. It really isn't that big of a deal. Nobody needed to spread it on Twitter and to make YouTube videos about this. It should have been left alone. And if you're gonna be for censorship now because you wanna deplatform someone that you hate so badly, be truthful about it. Don't ever say that you are against censorship when you are clearly for deplatforming somebody. That is, at best, censorship. Start practicing what you preached.